Hey everyone, welcome back. So we're back with another awesome eShop deals video. Look, I told you I'd keep an eye out for all those awesome holiday deals that I was pretty sure was right around the corner in those other two videos we did this week. And yes, they dropped another huge batch of sales on the eShop. Now, if you didn't catch out the first two videos I made this week, I'll be leaving them in the description down below and I'll be leaving a card up top. I strongly suggest you check them out because we're not going to be going over the games we looked at in those first two videos. We're really going to focus on the games that were just dropped today on the eShop as extra deals. Now, just before we get started, don't forget that if you like these videos and you want to see more, hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. And why not subscribe to the channel while you're at it? Now, the first game on the list I want to look at is a returning game, and that is Hades. Hades is an action roguelike dungeon crawler, and it's probably one of the best to come out in the last couple of years, all platforms combined. It was just named IGN's Game of the Year, and it almost won Game of the Year at the Game Awards. And actually, I think it's more deserving than the game that won, but we're not going to get into that discussion here today. Today, we're going to focus on the fact that it's 20% off, and at $19.99, this is probably one of the best games you can pick up this year. If you haven't played it yet, it is an awesome game where basically you play as the son of Hades that wants to escape from hell, and unfortunately, you're going to have to fight your way to get out, and each time you die, you'll come back more powerful, making you get closer and closer to your objective. The next game I just want to talk about is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Right now it's $39.99 on sale, and this is a really good sale because the game came out just on December 3rd. However, I do know that physically this game is probably going to be at the same price at different retailers. I know EB Games, which is basically the GameStop of Canada, has it for $39.99 Canadian right now. So you can probably pick it up physically for the same price. But if you don't want to go out to the store or you just don't mind not having it physically, picking it up for $39.99 is great. And if this game's sales wasn't as low as it was, we probably wouldn't be getting this deal right now. The next game we're going to look at on the list is Cuphead. And now this game is 30% off at $13.99. And honestly, this is a game that sells whether it's on sale or not. So when it is on sale, we are just lucky it is. And this is a 2D platforming shooter done in a 50s cartoon art style that is just one of a kind. It's a boss rush type game, and also it's gonna come with a small warning. This is a very difficult game. If you are not in for a challenge or you don't like redoing the same stages over and over again to learn boss patterns, probably stay away from this game. But if you put time and effort into this game, you're going to see it's extremely rewarding. And once you get used to the mechanics, you realize that the game overall does become very fair. Now, the next game on the list is probably one of the best overall arcade racers we have right now on the Switch, which is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. And this game is at 50% off for 1999. And this is a remastered game that was just released for the Switch. Already at on Black Friday, I think it was on sale for $29.99, and I found that deal incredible. Well, right now at $19.99 is an excellent time to pick it up. Like, if there is one racing game I would buy on the list today, it would be Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. It is probably the best arcade-style racer, like I said, that we currently have on the Switch. So now next on the list, we have Unravel 2. Basically, if you would, if you want a really great co-op platforming experience, Unravel 2 is an excellent game. You can play it solo, but I would say that the beauty of this game is really when you play it in co-op because it has one-of-a-kind mechanics where really you play two characters that are attached permanently by a wire, and basically you have to make it through the stages by manipulating that one fact. Right now, the game is also hugely on sale. It's only $4.99 because it is 75% off. So it's an excellent time to pick this game up. And it really, really is an awesome platform. Next, we have probably one of the best old school JRPGs to come out in the last few years, which is Octopath Traveler, which is 50% off at $29.99. So if you really want an old school JRPG experience, but done with modernized cell shaded graphics, Octopath Traveler is a great game. It is very critically acclaimed. It is also very high on Metacritic. So 
everyone combined agrees that this is a great JRPG. And Octopath Traveler actually brought life back to the JR JRPG genre, I would say, on the Switch. So really, if you want to experience it, this is an excellent time at 50% off. This is another game that doesn't go on sale very often. Now, the next game was on sale recently as well, but it is back, and that is Monster Hunter Generations. This is a great Monster Hunter game. It's only $15.99 right now at 60% off. And if you really want to gear up on your Monster Hunter before the new game comes out in March of 2021, well, Monster Hunter Generations is a great place to start because it's an overall really, really good experience of the last generation of Monster Hunter because I really think this new one will really flip the genre on its head. So if you really want to experience what the old Monster Hunter series was like, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is a great overall game. Now the next game that's on sale is actually a collection and that is the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. If you love 2D fighters and you really want to experience Street Fighter, this is probably a great collection to pick up. And it's just as good for beginners in Street Fighter that want to learn the whole history and really see what the whole hype is about, or for someone that wants to return and relive these classic games. And honestly, on the Switch, they're among some of the best 2D fighters we have. So honestly, the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection at 50% off for $14.99 and you're getting, a, I think it's something like 12 different games. It is an awesome, awesome time. I love this collection and honestly, I still play it on a regular, regular basis. So I really recommend picking this one up if you like 2D fighters of any type. Now the next game on the list is going to be Resident Evil 4, but right now the whole Resident Evil series is on sale. Uh, the, I, the lowest ones I think are 25% off and some of them go up to almost 40% off, but if you really want to experience one of the best Resident Evils, I would say Resident Evil 4 is an excellent place to start because this is where really the series took that turn to the over the shoulder look. And it really is overall one of the most beloved Resident Evils, Resident Evil 4. Uh, and at 1499, it's a great experience to play this game on the Switch. Even playing it in handheld mode and portably is also a one of a kind experience. So I really think that even if you played Resident Evil 4, it's actually probably worth double dipping on just to have it on the Switch and being ha to have it in portable format. And like I said, at 25% off, these are games that really don't get any cheaper than this because they sell even at their full prices. So when we get any type of sale on these, it's always good news. Now, next we have the Devil May Cry series, and we're not going to look at each game individually, but this one we are going to look at. Devil May Cry 3 is, in my opinion, the best Devil May Cry altogether. Like, the only Devil May Cry 5 could maybe come close to it, that, but it's unfortunately not available on the Switch. So the best Devil May Cry that you can play on the Switch right now is Devil May Cry 3. If there's one you're going to pick up, this is it. And at 40% off for $11.99 for the Special Edition, because on Switch we actually got a remade version with actually better battle mechanics, it is really worth it. And if you want to play any other Devil May Cry's, I would definitely say if there's one you should skip, skip the second one. The first one can be worthwhile playing through if you really like the third one, if you try the third one and you really like it. But the second one should be really only played for the storyline because unfortunately it was sort of a down point in the series. Now the next game that I would actually definitely pick up right now is Super Meat Boy. Now this is not the new one that just released on December 23rd. This is the first one. But for honestly $5.99, which is 60% off, this is a great time to actually try out the first one if you've never tried it before. Of course, if you've already played this one, forget about it. But if you heard about the new Super Meat Boy, you're wondering what type of game it is, is it worth playing? Start with the first one at 60% off. Figure out if you like this style of gameplay because this is a very difficult platforming game where the only point is to get to the end of the stage, but it re requires some very, very precise movement and mechanics. So you really have to make sure that you like this style of game. But if you do like this challenging type of levels, you'll see that this is actually one of the best platformers like this to come out in the last few years. And at $6, it is really worth trying. Now, next, 
all of the Mega Mans are 50% off right now. Once again, we're not going to look at each one of them individually. But basically, we have the Mega Man Legacy Collection 1, the Mega Man X Legacy Collection 2, Mega Man the Classic Collection 1 and Classic Collection 2, and Mega Man 11 that are all 50% off. And any one of these games are excellent pickups. Now, my personal favorites would probably be Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1, as well as the Classic Collection 1. And after that, obviously, Mega Man 11 was a great, great revival of the series. So if you want to start with some Mega Mans because you've never tried the series before, start with both Legacy Collections 1 of both the, the first series and the X series. And obviously, Mega Man 11, if you've never played a Mega Man before, is it would be also an excellent place to start. So as I mentioned, we're not going to go into details. But here's a shout out. We have Resident Evil 6, which is also 25% off at $14.99. Not one of my favorites, but it still is a pretty good game if you want to try it out. Also, we have Resident Evil Revelations 2 here that is $7.99. Now, this one is an okay game, but I would definitely say that Revelations 1 is the better of the two Revelations series. However, it's really fun to play them on the Switch because they originally came out on uh, the 3DS, if I'm not mistaken. And, I mean, they played okay on those, but they play much better on the Switch. Next, we come to another great arcade racing game, and that is Burnout Paradise. Now, Burnout Paradise right now is also 50% off at $24.99. Uh, once again, it is an arcade-style racer. I personally prefer Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, but Burnout has its own fan base as well, and this is another great game. I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. I'm just telling you which one is my preferred, but right now, if you're really into racing games, I would actually pick up both because at 50% off, these are great games and $24.99 is pretty much the lowest I've seen Burnout Paradise so far on the Switch. So to me, it just sounds like an awesome time to pick this up. Now here I wanted to take a few seconds because the first remaster of the first Resident Evil is 35% off at $12.99 and this is another one of my favorite Resident Evils. I played the original back on the PS1 when it came out the first time. I played Director's Cut and the remake is really worth experiencing another time. So if you've played the original and you've sort of never played the remake because you, you just thought it's the same game, it isn't. It really is redone in a much more uh, pleasing aesthetic and not only that, a much more pleasing control scheme than the tank controls we had back in the day. So. Honestly, if, you, if there's any game I would double dip on on the Resident Evil series, it would be right now the remake of Resident Evil 1. And for only $12.99, which is 35% off, this is an excellent game to pick up. Now, the next great collection that you could pick up is Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Right now, it's 30%, 37% off, actually, for $24.99. And it is... Basically, Shovel Knight, all the DLC, and even the Brawler game that they came out with for free as a free download. And if you've never played Shovel Knight, it is basically a 2D platformer. It is very heavily influenced by the Mega Man series, but it is done in its own style. And if you've never played a Yacht Club game, these are people that really have retro gaming at heart. They have passion for their games. The storyline and characters are really, really involving and they're like involved in their games. And basically, this is a series that I recommend everyone try at least once. Even if you've never liked a retro game, if you want to have a chance to love one, start with Shovel Knight and you'll right away know if this if that type of gaming can speak to you. Now, just a quick shout out. Here is the Mega Man Legacy Collection 1, which is, like I said, actually I thought it was 50% off, but this one is only 33% off, but it's $9.99. And you get the six classic Mega Man games for 10 bucks. It's still an incredible deal. Now, just under that, we also have the Mega Man Zero and ZX Collection. I am going to take a few seconds to look at this one more specifically because it really is a side series. And this is the Game Boy Advanced uh, games as well as the DS games. And Mega Man Zero ZX, it's that rather than have Mega Man as a protagonist, you have Zero. And it really is a different style of gameplay done more in a Metroidvania type style. If you really want, if you've never been a fan of the series and you want to try something out that's a little bit different, 
I definitely recommend trying out this series. And right now at 1979, this is a really good price for this collection. And as I said earlier, if there is one of the uh, Resident Evils I would also try out, that is Resident Evil Revelations. That's only $7.99, which is 60% off. And this is, like I said, one that was released, I believe, on the 3DS, if I'm not mistaken. And it was one of my favorites as well. So, you know, right now I would say Resident Evil 4, the remake of the first Resident Evil, and then the first Revelations are probably the top three Resident Evil titles that are on sale right now, in my opinion. So now the next game on the list is going to be a 2D fighter, and that is Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Now, I know you hear Power Rangers and you think cheesy game, but trust me, Battle for the Grid is a fighting game first and a Power Rangers game second. And at 40% off for $11.99, this was actually one of the biggest surprising games of the year for me, in the sense that I, my expectations were really, really low, but the game came out to be actually pretty, pretty good. And honestly, if you want to try something out, and if you loved the Power Rangers as a kid, as I did, this really honors them in a really special way. Now, the next game on the list is a 2D platforming shooter that I really love, and that is Axiom Verge. I love it because it's a perfect middle ground be between being difficult but fair at the same time. So if you really want to try out a retro styled 2D shooter that will give you some challenge but at the same time not be overly difficult, I would say Axiom Verge is an excellent game to try out. And right now it's 60% off for only $7.99. I mean, th this game is a steal at that price and I really wouldn't, re I didn't regret buying it at full price because I bought it when it just came out. And so at $7.99, this game is just a amazing purchase. Now the next game I wanna talk about on the list is Samurai Showdown. Now this is another classic 2D fighter. It is a remake that we got on the Switch. However, we got it a lot later than the other consoles, so this game was fairly new. It came out at the beginning of this year. Uh, most other consoles, I believe it came out a year or two ago. The reason I'm mentioning it is because this is the first time I've actually seen it on sale. And at its full price on the Switch, I would have said that this game would have been a hard pass, okay? But at 40% off for $29.99, if you already have the other fighters that I mentioned on this list, this can be a really interesting title. However, I just want to precise that it is not my favorite 2D fighter on the Switch. However, it still is a decent port. It's not as strong as it is on the other consoles. And during some of the close-ups when you do these special moves, the graphic fidelity can get a little low. But overall, the gameplay in the online is solid. So it is still a pretty decent experience. And now at 40% off, I can say we're getting in the price range where it's worth it. So that's pretty much it for my list of games that were just added to the holiday sales for the Nintendo Switch. Now don't forget to check out those other two videos because like I said, I skipped a lot of great games in today's video just because they're already mentioned in that video I released just three, four days ago. And seriously, with all three videos combined, I mean, the list is clearly over 60 games right now. So if you really want to know if you're getting that sweet Christmas money and you don't know where to spend it, check out those three videos and I guarantee you, you'll find a ton of games that are excellent value right now. So anyway, as usual, if you liked the video, as I said earlier, don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.